Well, do you have any regular ones? Yeah. Any chance I could see one? Yeah. You got kick? No. I have Facebook, WhatsApp, or Skype. Ugh, I deleted Facebook. How old are you? 44. You? 13. Okay. I'll be 14 next month. That's great. Do you have either WhatsApp or Skype? Skype. Okay. Are you on now? Who is this? Are you the guy from Wire Club? Yes, of course. Cool. If I show you a pic, don't laugh. I won't. I don't judge. Send me the pic on your avatar. Would love to see. Cute pic you sent. Don't you have color pics? Ha ha. What about you? I have a bunch of pics on wire. I can add you if you want to see them. Is that cool? Sure. You are gorgeous. Is that creepy to you? Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, so are you. I like your pics. Thanks. And thank you for saying that. I'm not normally rude, lol. I don't think you are. I'm just stunned how beautiful you are. You're really 13. You have some badass tats. Thanks. I like my tats. Yeah. Did you ever think you would say a 44-year-old dude is hot? <laughs> I turned 14 October 21st. I think older guys are handsome. Well, some. That's cool. Did you go out with guys at school? I just moved here. Oh. So I don't really know guys yet. Do you have any friends at school yet? Yeah, a few. It's tough when you're new. Can you do me a favor? Especially because I came from California here. It's crazy, huh? I want to see you. Could we do a video chat for like a minute, really quick? I'm on my iPod. It doesn't have video? Nope. My dad took that away because I was video chatting too much. Don't you have Skype on phone or computer as well? LOL. Well, if I had my own laptop, yeah. Do you have your own phone? And my phone is in limbo because I broke two this year, so I don't get my upgrade for another month. Well, actually, like two weeks. So my mom gave me a retarded flip phone. Wait, if you have Skype on iPod, are you sure it doesn't have video? I thought it comes with Skype. I'm sure my dad disabled Cam. Yeah, but if he disabled it, you can easily enable it. It's in settings. I'm not getting into trouble. Okay, but it's just weird. Wait, are you someone trying to see if I would? Why would he disable it on a device that can easily be overridden? Man, I haven't been in trouble for three months. No, it just doesn't make much sense. I don't believe you. And I want to verify it's you, because people on the wire are fucked up. I'm not getting in trouble again. Can't trust anyone, but okay. Exactly. I can show you who I am. I guess I just want to make sure you are who you are. I can call you tomorrow if you want, but I really don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. Call me how? On phone or Skype? So if you are someone who knows my dad or mom, tell them I'm not fucking around on here. On phone. Bailey. Yeah. The chances of me knowing your dad is small. Come on. We randomly met on wire. How do I know people don't just randomly look? You're being paranoid. <laughs> if you got in trouble as much as I used to, you'd understand. But if you call me on phone, I still can't see to verify you. <laughs> Guess not. Can you use a computer at school to go on Skype or a minute? But I don't know you good enough to risk getting fucking grounded again. And my mom finally trusts me to leave me alone this weekend. Well, I was just saying we could vid chat for 30 seconds to verify. Well, I don't know. It's strange. I guess you haven't run into fake people on wire. No, mostly people who want to see my feet. 
You could be anyone for all I know. It would just make me more comfortable, I guess. And then you would know it's me as well. Are you even able to use Skype at school? Is it possible? Oh, uh, well, nope. Okay. Have you seen the computers? Haha, ha, I'm sure they suck. Cheap ass school. Laugh my ass off. Can you send me one face pic that is color? Anyway, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I can send you one. I'm on the left. Or maybe you can borrow a friend's phone to Skype me for a few seconds another time. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Bailey. Anyhow, I'm tired. Yeah? I think you look amazing. I hope you don't think that's crazy, considering the age difference. Thanks. That really means a lot to me. I shouldn't even be talking to you, because you're so young, compared to me. It's been a long time since someone said that to me. Well, I really hope it's you. Let's talk again. You aren't like Santa Claus, old. But work on getting on video so we can see each other, even if it's for only a minute. Yeah, I know. I'm not old, but most girls your age would think so. I'm not most girls. I like school. I like to read. I got in some trouble when my parents divorced and I had to move here. I'm glad you're not. I hate fakes. I hate users. I hate liars. But I don't just go trusting people because people lie and I get hurt. Right, you shouldn't. That's why I was trying to verify you. I don't trust many people online. So if after all of that you still want to talk, cool. But you seem nice. You're smart for your age. And you are beautiful. So yes, I do. I hate stupid people. That's why I hardly talk to guys my age. I don't want to hear your mama jokes and how loud someone can burp, lol. Right. Jeff? Very immature. Thank you for saying I'm pretty. You're welcome. Good night, Bailey. Well, good night. Talk to you soon. Hey, how was your day? It's good. How is yours? Great. Working right now. What are you doing? Homework. I have dance class tonight, so I have to get it done. What is your job? Premium auditor for insurance industry. Work from home a lot or at clients. My company is in Connecticut, but I never have to go there. I live in Boston. Not sure if you knew that. I think you told me. I don't know what your job means, but it sounds like you are smart. Thanks. I don't expect you to understand unless I explain it, but I won't right now. Are you at home? Yeah, just for a little while. Okay. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Are you a virgin? Oh, uh, well, yeah, that is personal. No, I was with my boyfriend once. So you slept with one guy? Yeah. More than once? A couple times. I am surprised. Why? Most, girl, most girls your age are virgins, so I'm impressed. I told you last night I'd gotten into trouble before. Right, but I wasn't sure for what. And LOL, at my old school, there were a lot of thirsty thoughts. Thirsty thoughts? I'm not thirsty or a thought. What do you mean? Not thought. Thought. Thirsty means someone who gives blowjobs to whoever. What's a thought? That hoe over there. <laughs> Uh, did you blow your boyfriend? No. Honestly, it was always happened so fast, and then it was like, what the fuck? Have you blown anyone? No, I never cheated on him, and we were together for like a year. I really want to see you on vid. <laughs> How can we do this? Buy me a phone, lol joke. <laughs> I have an iPhone 4S that I don't use. I'd give it to you if I could. Aw, thanks. I get an upgrade in like three weeks, at least by my birthday. How do you take pics if you don't have a phone? They had a phone. I broke it. Well, two of them. And the pics are on my SD card. So you can't take a pic of yourself right this second if you wanted to? Nope. One of the other reasons I got in trouble. But I've been really good lately, so my mom is willing to give me another chance. Well, because I have an idea. 
Plus, my dad wants pics of me, too. I want to believe it's you in the pics, but obviously I can't because you know you could be anyone. So I was going to say, take a selfie, holding up four fingers below your face. Then I would know it's really you. <laughs> the chances of you already having this pic is slim. So I would know it's really you if you took it like that. No offense. I really want to believe it's you, but I can't based on past experiences online. Can you borrow a friend's phone to take that selfie for me? You are more freaked out than you said I was. Not freaked out. Just don't trust anyone online. I hope it's you because I like you. I'll ask, but honest, I'm not getting in trouble for you. My mom finally trusts me. You won't get in trouble. I like that. What? That my mom trusts me again. So if you use your friend's phone and they send it to you and you can send it to me, how else would your mom find out? You could delete it after. Thanks for trying. I really appreciate it. You better be real. If you are actually someone who is doing this for my dad, that's pretty fucked up. I am real. I can prove it. So am I. I was willing to if you had Cam. So I was trying to think outside the box. I believe you, but I can't due to past experience. I just need confirmation. Sorry again. It's not personal. Can I ask you a personal question? Okay. What happened to you that made you so paranoid? It's not like that. I have used the internet for a long time. I have just known over the years that people aren't always who they say they are. It's simple. There is nothing that happened. That's like everywhere, though. You still there? Online is easier to disguise yourself. So that's my main point, Bailey. Your situation is unique in that you can't turn on your camera like most people can to verify. It's really simple to do so. That's why I was trying to figure out another way. Sorry. My mom wanted me to help her get some stuff out of the car. Hit me up later. I have to get ready for dance. Sure. One thing before you go. Yeah? The reason I care so much to verify and see you is because I think you are special and I like you. If you were just some other random chick with nothing to offer, I, would, I wouldn't be so concerned or eager to see you. And you are extremely beautiful. Talk soon. Wow, thank you. That made me smile. Good. Don't forget it. Hey, cutie. Ugh. What's up, Bailey? Hey, Jeff. What's up? Is it all right calling you cutie? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, uh, yeah. It's nice to hear. What are you doing? Anything good? Helping get stuff ready for dinner. What about you? Work, then gym, then dinner. I work out at home. What do you do at the gym? My mom got a treadmill and bike for us. All kinds of stuff. Weights, cardio. I box sometimes. Are you, like, super into health? Nah. Good. Why, ha <laughs> I hate those people. They're always talking what not to eat. Yeah, fuck them. How tall are you? 5'2". You? 5'9". Tall guy. Love your body, gotta say. Let me guess, you 110? 112, lol. Oh my god, I was so close. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I win a prize? Pizza and burgers are my diet. You're slim, so no worries. You can have a prize. What would it be? Pizza, lol. Or I could take you for burgers sometime. I'd like that, but I'm not one of those fake hoes that are like, oh, give me a salad. I want the whole cheeseburger. Have you ever been to California? Yes. Ever hear of a place called In-N-Out? Yep, love it. Too bad we don't have it here. Oh, my God. Double, double and animal fries. Yeah, I miss it. I miss California. I like fat burger, too. I never ate there, but I did at Tommy's. We have tasty burger in Boston, which is OK. I haven't found a great burger place here yet. I want to see Boston. It's in our history book a lot. Well, I am not too far. Maybe you can sometime. I will show you. I'd like that. Oh, before I forget. Yes. Wow. You did it for me. How did you do that? Yeah, I told you I'd ask. 
It's just that I barely met these girls, so I don't tell them my business. So I just said I wanted a pic of me at school. That's great. I like it. Your hands are cute. I always look at hands on a girl. It's something that can turn me off. <laughs> I'm a nail polish freak. I like solid colors. Hate French manicure. Ha. Huh? <laughs> I get those sometimes. But I like the shape of your nails. They are healthy looking and attractive. Thank you. Don't get French. It looks tacky. And like you're trying too hard. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm telling you, I'm an expert. Any solid color. Hey, I have to go eat dinner. Are you going to be on later? Maybe, but I'll try if you want. Does that mean you want to talk again? Later tonight? Yeah, I want to talk to you. Is that cool? I don't want to bother you. Yes, it is. But I want to talk to you about that because I have some mixed emotions. Okay. You don't bother me. What time is good? 11 p.m.? Yeah, I don't have school tomorrow. Nice. Okay, talk later. Okay. Hey there. Hey, you. I'm trying to free up space on my MacBook. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So let me ask you something. Okay. I realize this is a loaded question that might be tough for you to answer, but besides being your friend on here, chat buddy, or whatever you want to say I am, what do you ultimately want out of me? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. I like talking to you. What about you? Not sure, but I'm afraid of the fact I am so attracted to you, Bailey. I'm sorry, Jeff. I don't want to make you feel bad. It's not you. It's the fact you're 14. I think you are cute, too. I shouldn't be attracted to you. It's not right. I am so much older. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, though, it's not your fault. It's just the situation. Is it okay to say thank you for saying I'm pretty? You are tempting. <laughs> yes, why do you ask? Because it's nice to hear, but I don't want to make you feel bad about telling me. We're just chatting. Yes, I know. But the fact that we have an attraction and the age difference sort of scares me. <laughs> do you see what I mean? As a 44-year-old guy, I shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old girl like this. Yet I want to. Yeah, I can understand. I guess I just never thought it was so bad talking to someone if you liked them. It's not bad. It's just not normal, I guess. I don't understand why it's anyone's business if we want to talk. You're right. I guess I'm just feeling guilty, and I probably shouldn't. And it's damn sure isn't anyone's business if I think you are cute. Of course. I don't want to make you feel guilty. I'd feel like a douche. So if you want to talk, just let me know so I don't bother you. I really appreciate you sending me that pic earlier, but I'm still not 100% sure about you. I'm sorry. I realized the first pic you sent me the other day also had four fingers. So now I'm wondering, maybe she has a bunch of those pictures. <laughs> the whole point of asking you to hold up four fingers was to ask you to do something unusual so that I know that the pic you're taking would be genuine and that you were taking it just for me. Now I'm inclined to ask you to do it once more, but doing something even more unusual. Just to convince myself it's you. I hope you're not mad at me. I'm not doing that. It was embarrassing enough today. And honestly, I'm not willing to work that hard for someone who doesn't even know if they want to talk to me. Bailey, that's incorrect. I want to talk to you. It's cool. There's a lot of people we can both talk to. I really want to talk to you. I guess you don't understand. Maybe I'm not explaining it. I like you a lot, all I'm saying. I guess not. But honest, Jeff, we hardly even talk about fun things or getting to know each other things. We can. I'm sorry, Bailey. Maybe I am overthinking. It's am I me? And I'm sorry I broke my phone. Twice. And I don't take millions of selfies. I honestly hate my pics. I don't want to have doubts about whether you are the girl I think you are. I hope to God you are. I think you were amazing. Remember you said you thought I might be someone that knows your dad and you were paranoid about it? I think you are too. I don't know what else to say. I like talking to you. You were the first guy who knew in and out. That was awesome. Yeah, I remember. Well, I have a similar paranoia. 
unless I can verify it's you, I keep thinking that if she really is someone who was undercover and trying to nail online predators who talk to minors. I think I'm too young to have a job like that. That's not my point. My fear is that it's not you, that it's someone in law enforcement looking to nail someone. You know I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate? We were just chatting, yes, I know, but I'm just saying. I know it sounds crazy to you. How the hell would the police know anything? Only time that happens is if someone says something. Last time my mom got called by the school cop because I told a girl if she didn't shut the fuck up about my friend, I swore I'd never talk to another cop. If you took one more pick crossing two fingers holding them under your face, I would believe it's you. If she didn't shut the fuck up, I'd kick her ass. I don't know, Jeff. I'll think about it. Okay, let's chat more to get to know each other. I don't want to spend my days talking to a guy who keeps questioning me. You're right. You shouldn't. Maybe we should get to know each other more. You might consider doing that one last favor for me. Okay. Bailey, listen. The only way the police would know if we were ever got intimate is if someone saw us together or you told the police. That shit happens. Not by me. Fuck that. I don't know why you would tell the police, but theoretically you could. Shit happens. So could you. Is all I'm saying. I wouldn't because I'm the only one that would get in trouble with the law. You wouldn't. You might get in trouble at home, but not with the law. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> okay. Going to jail or going to your room? I'd rather go to your room. LOL. I don't go to my room, Haas. I'm pretty sure my mom is low-key part Nazi. It was a metaphor explaining getting in trouble at home. Anyway, Bailey, Bailey. So get to know me. Ask me something. Jeff, Jeff, do you have kids? Nope. Me either. Your turn. Are there any guys at school you like? That was a joke, by the way. Yeah, I get it. Haha. I'm not an idiot. Idiot. <laughs> no, I just started like four weeks ago, and lots of people don't get my humor. So tell me again about this girl you wanted to fight. Why? Ugh, that thought. Okay, so my friend liked this guy that the other girl liked, and have you ever heard of that burn book app? Uh, no. Okay, well, it's an app that lets you talk shit about anyone at your school anonymously. Uh -huh. Okay. Like, each school has a section. So that host started saying my friend was DTF, anyone, anywhere. Deft? Down to fuck, DTF. Yeah, I figured it out before you explained. <laughs> right, before. LOL, okay. Like, then the gut, like a fucking idiot, believes it. And all these guys are lying saying they got with her. And they were crying and wanted to leave the school. So I got mad. Was this in Cali? Yeah. Okay. I just moved here in the beginning of August. Okay. So that's it. So wait. I'm not really a mean person. What did you say to her? I don't like my friends hurt. I said, hey, you stupid bitch. Who has been thirsty for every guy here? Your ugly ass has to make up lies to get a guy because you're too fucking ugly to get one. If you ever try talking shit, even on Burn Book, you fake bitch, I'll kick your ass so hard you'll move schools. So I got sent home and the campus cop called home. Did you say it to her face? Um, yeah. Good. At school, the cop heard, teachers heard, kids heard. Heard you yelling at her? LOL. Some kids were like, damn, Bailey, we thought you were super quiet. Yeah, I yelled at her in front of a classroom in the commons. Loving it. You're a little badass. But they didn't see my friend cry. I did. And I didn't like it. Only when I protect people I care about. And the cop wouldn't listen to me. That seriously made me mad. Well, of course. Oh, well, so how awful do I seem now? At school, usually the cop is going to side with a less aggressive person. You're not awful. I told you. I don't judge. Neither do I. Good. I like that you stand up for your friends. Thank you. I thought it was funny you said it was awesome. I'm the only person that knows in and out. It's because your peers at school would never know. 
about it because they haven't traveled. I'm older, so I've been places. <laughs> but I'm glad you think it's awesome. Even the people I talked to on Wire Club who said they've been to California didn't know in and out. Well, they are losers. Yep. Okay, do I get another question? Of course, anytime. Do you think reading books is fun or for losers? Well, I didn't read when I was in high school. I fucked around. <laughs> but I think reading is important to build knowledge and practice comprehension, especially at a young age. Reading can be fun. But I think it's essential for knowledge. I love reading, but not for knowledge. Even if you're not having fun, reading is st still great for you. I like reading for fun. I like reading for knowledge. <laughs> I make myself read stuff. I read for stories, LOL. I read news and opinion articles. I don't really read books, but I'm glad you read. It's great. It's not nerdy? Nope. Some people your age might think so, but they are immature. Yeah. Ask me more stuff. That's another reason I don't talk to many guys at school. Because you were way more mature? Yeah. I believe it. What do you talk about with dudes on wire? If they are nice, we talk about whatever we have in common or just random stuff. I was surprised you gave me your Skype so soon. LOL. I hardly go on wire club. And I really wanted to talk to you. And you don't have kick. Was I different from the other dudes on wire? Yeah, kind of. You seem to actually pay attention to what I was saying. Do you give your kick to guys on wire? Not anymore. LOL. One guy just kept bugging me, so I'm way more careful. I don't really go in chat. Mostly I Pinterest, LOL. Okay. What about you? Do you talk to lots of girls on wire club? Go on sometimes when I'm bored. Yes, a few. That's cool. What impresses you in a guy? He has to be smart and fun and can't be fake. So you mean genuine? Yeah. You will get more genuine than Jeff. I tell it like it is. I am blunt. Good or bad, I speak my mind. My mom says she isn't Willy Wonka. She won't sugarcoat shit. I'm like that. Good. Your mom sounds great, too. <laughs> she has her moments. My brother lives in Cali. My dad thinks she's a bitch. She says he's Satan. Sounds like a great marriage. <laughs> They're divorced. Oh. That's why we moved. So you live with your mom. And moving is why I broke my phone. Yeah, just me and her. Where's your dad? California still. What town? Los Angeles. Okay. You live in Bridgeport now? Near there, in Fairfield. I have a buddy in that area. Really? Did he tell you it sucks here? <laughs> no. He is from there. It's different if you come from Cali. Come on, you know that. Just different environment growing up. It's supposed to snow forever here. Yuck. Kids who are from Connecticut won't say it sucks because that's all they know. Why did your mom choose Fairfield? Work. She isn't sure if we'll stay here or move to New York. What does she do? So we're trying things here. She works in investments and finance. But why the drastic move across country? Couldn't she just stay in Cali and do that job? She got offered a lot of money. Nice. And she gets to travel. So she leaves you alone? And it was one more thing to piss my dad off about. Well, we've only been here almost two months. She doesn't go away all the time. When she travels, will she leave you home my own? For short trips, yeah, if I can't go. Has she done it yet in Connecticut? Yeah, when she went to Atlanta. How old is she? LOL, you want to date her? <laughs> Laugh my ass off. No. She's 49. Oh, older than I thought. I was a surprise to them. Like a mistake? Ouch. Come on. <laughs> yes, I'm a mistake. You know what I mean. Told you I'm blunt. No harm, though. Okay, so you were unintentional. Yeah.